Hi everyone, I'm Nicole from Really Good Stuff, here today with a bunch of products to show you that are great for going back to school this fall. So some of these products are just great for um, keeping your classroom clean, some of them are great for organization, some of them are innovative, brand new products that are exclusive to Really Good Stuff that you will absolutely love. So before I get started, um, I wanted to do one of our giveaways. And the first giveaway is for these teacher socks, which are super cute. So as you sit down on the couch and put your feet up this summer um, to relax, you can put these on and they say, if you can see this, you are looking at an off-duty teacher, okay? So they're super cute and um, fun to wear over the summer. So if you'd like to win these, all you have to do to enter is comment below with how you're going to reset the summer. How are you going to rewind and get ready for um, school in the fall? So comment as many times as you like. You can comment over and over again. It'll increase your chances of winning. And I'm going to take you through all these awesome products, like I said before. And I'm going to start with a product that I think is super helpful, super important. Um, this is our on the go caddy. So I know Angela showed you a bunch of awesome plastics on Tuesday. This is my favorite plastic. Number one, because it could be used in so many ways. Um, you can use it to um, set your kids up in small groups. Kids can use these individually. Another reason I love it is because it fits our new on, um, on the go helpers. So I'll show you that a little up closer up in a second. But first I just wanted to grab a wipe because I think what's important going back to school is that we pay attention to what we can clean, right? So this is like similar to a desktop helper um, but it's called an on-the-go helper, so you can stick it on any surface pretty much that you want, especially plastics, and you can wipe it clean, which is really great. So let me show you. Our Easy Stick products are similar to a sticker, but you can peel them up and place them back down, okay? And they're still in great shape. So they're really a great product um, that's made really well. So like I was saying before, your students can take this around the classroom with them, I know it's going to be very challenging to keep students in one place throughout the day. So if you're having them move around quietly and you know um, slowly and carefully, they can take this with them and they'll have all their supplies in one place. Okay, if it's a binder, folder, tons of supplies, and so on. We also have an on-the-go helper for primary. So there's a little look at that. You might want to use those um, to stick on other surfaces. So I'm going to actually show you another way you can use our on-the-go helpers which is with our plastic clipboards. So take a look here. Our plastic clipboards are awesome for back, going back to school this year um, for so many reasons. One being that they are wiped clean, of course, because they are plastic and you can put your easy stick sticker on there so your students can work around the classroom and have their reference tool right at hand. Okay, and as you can see, we have rainbow colors um, I love these so much. They're great for the teacher, great for the students, and great for going back to school when we need to keep the classroom extra clean this year. Okay, so that's one um, other product I love. Here, again, I'm gonna grab a wipe to show you. We have a plastic privacy shield here. Okay, wipe clean, as you can see. And if you look closely, you can see it's plastic, but it's corrugated. So, um, great thing about being plastic is you can wipe it so that you can keep your classroom as clean as possible. I'm also going to show you another privacy shield. Unfortunately, it's not plastic, but it's going to be so important to use things like this um, going back to school because it is a social emotional learning privacy shield. So social emotional learning, as we all know, is going to be extra important this year as students have faced such challenges um, at the end of this current school year. So I just want to show you these different tools you can use with your students um, or set them up so they can use them on their own. So in this privacy shield, they have some different strategies they can use if they're feeling a little overwhelmed or upset. Um, they have this center point here, which has our breathing star. So what they do is they follow the, the line with their eyes starting at the dot and they breathe in through their nose as they follow up. And then they slowly breathe out as they go back in breathe in through their nose and out and they go around the star over and over again until they feel calm again okay and then the third p 
piece here has positive affirmations. So they can use any of the three tools um, or all three if they need to as they sit alone um, somewhere in the classroom and reset their minds and um, get ready to learn again. It also has really cute sayings on the outside, which are really nice. And as you can see, it's full color, bright, beautiful. Um, so that's another really awesome tool. I want to show you this really cool thing called a border hoarder. So this is something that Really Good Stuff has made recently and it's exclusive to Really Good Stuff, okay? So it's called a border hoarder, like I said. You can see here that you can fit a ton of borders in here. So I've seen teachers take icing containers, clean them out and put their borders inside. No more of that, we have the solution for you. You can fit a ton of borders throughout um, the border hoarder. You also have space for accents um, and then you can even fit more borders in the center here. I mean, you can see when you look, there are a ton of borders in this thing. So another thing is when we're developing, um, we're product developers who are all teachers, always think about what the teacher needs. So, you know, sometimes we don't have a ton of space in our classroom or closet. So we made these so that they nest, okay? So since they nest, it's easier to store in your classroom or in your closet. And I wanna show you this one here that I have. Okay, and as you can see, you can store other things in here. You can store pom-poms, um, different craft supplies, manipulatives. There are so many ways you can use the border hoarder. So we're going to do our second giveaway today. I want you to comment below with how else you can use the border hoarder, okay? So comment with different ideas. How would you use it? You can even tell us that you would use it in the same way with manipulatives. Tell me what kinds of manipulatives you would put in it, okay? So comment as many times as you'd like. Again, the more you comment, the better your chances are of winning. Okay, so that's our second giveaway today. We'll be doing one more in just a short period of time. Okay. The next item we have here is a chair pocket. So I'm gonna show you that nice and closely. Um, chair pockets simply go over the back of the chair and there's a bunch of, um, there's a big pocket here for them to store their there are things they could store, um, you know, for this smaller one, they can store different things like books or notebooks, things like that. This one also has this little pouch that comes off, Velcro. Okay, so that's our smaller size one. We have so many, we have so many colors, we have so many, um, we have different sizes, things like that. And here's one of our bigger ones. So what I did this morning was I put it through the wash just to see, I wanted to make sure that you can wash it and it came out just fine. I washed it with cold water and I'm letting it air dry, okay? So it's actually a little wet right now, but it's important that we know we have this tool um, for our students that they can keep their things right where they are so they're not getting up to gra grab different things in the classroom um, and that we can wash it in the washing machine, okay? Just be sure not to dry it. I'm not sure how that would um, do in the dryer. So another product I have here that is Similar material is our book pouch. So again, you can wash it on with cold water, let it air dry. These are also really great. Um, both of these products really are great for school or home to keep students organized, okay? So again, you can wash it. Um, it's durable, it will last. And finally, I wanna do our last giveaway, okay? So I want you to comment below if you'd like to enter to win a prize with what virtual learning is going to look like for you in the fall. If you have any idea of what your school is planning, um, we'd love to know. So if your school is having teachers teach half day and then the second half of the day they're recording themselves, um, or if, you're, if your school's having you live on the camera with students in the classroom and students at home, we'd love to know all about what your school is planning on doing, if you have any information, um, just so that we can help support you by knowing what you're doing. Okay, so that's it for our video today. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.